Hey friends, welcome to another adventure with me, Adventures with Sarah, but now it's Adventures with Sarah and Hoda because I'm here in Egypt with one of my dearest friends, uh, Hoda Afifi, who's an incredible tour guide. Uh, we are now at the Temple of Karnak, which I remember learning about in architecture school. This is one of the great monuments of the ancient world and was incredibly sized in the past, over 200 acres of temple. Uh, but there's a new part that's just been opened and a connection between Karnak and Luxor, the Avenue of the Sphinxes, which just opened. And I'm so excited to share a little bit of information with you about that because it's now possible to walk about a mi two, two miles, mile and a half between the two cities, just like the ancient Egyptians did. So let's hear what Hoda has to say. Welcome everyone to the Temple of Karnak, the biggest, the largest religious structure ever to be built on earth. Karnak is not just a temple, it's a complex of temples and shrines. A main temple surrounded by 13 other shrines and little uh, temples. The um, temple was built over a period of uh, 2100 years. Almost each and every one of the kings who came to Egypt got something to do with this temple, leaving behind him a temple, a small temple, a shrine, a statue, a wall, or even uh, a sphinx. Connect in the Luxor Temple were once connected via Sphinx Avenue. The Sphinx Avenue was totally buried with dirt, sand, houses, till the Egyptian government finally decided to uh, start a big project uh, rediscovering the Sphinx Avenue and connecting the two temples together. Uh, you could uh, uh, easily walk between Karnak and Luxor Temple exactly like what ancient Egyptians used to do. There's a lot of work to be done inside Karnak Temple, lots of discoveries. Uh, Egyptian uh, Department of Antiquities managed to invent a new solution to remove the dust and uh, the salt and the smoke from the walls and they finally managed to get the uh, vibrant original colors on the wall and that's what you can see looking to the pillars over there. Those pillars only two years ago were totally black, dusty and dirty like the ones that you can see to the other side which is not finished yet. Finally they managed to remove the smoke, the dirt. People back in the days during the Christian period used to live here, they cook and they set fire and that's what covered the walls with layers of black uh, smoke. They're doing a great job now trying to renovate the uh, temple. So we're taking you into an, one of the new parts that hasn't been uh, um, opened for uh, most of the people. So most of the tourists actually uh, don't come uh, here unless they decide to walk between the two uh, temples. Best time to do it either early in the morning or later in the uh, um, afternoon in order to avoid uh, the heat. The Sphinx Avenue connecting between the two temples starts from here and it's almost two miles uh, away. So if you ever make it to uh, Luxor, we would highly recommend you walking between the two temples like what ancient Egyptians used to do. Hoda and I offer tours of Egypt uh, of varying lengths and exploring all of the parts of Egypt you might want to see, like the pyramids, Karnak, all the way down to Abu Simbel. So go to my website, adventureswithsarah.net, and you can find Hoda on social media. Yes, it's Adventures with Hoda too. <laughs> Adventures with Hoda. Thanks for watching.